a very good morning my dear children i am gayatri your science mom in last class we are discuss about first chapter that is nutrition in plants so today in this video we are discuss about that second chapter that is nutrition in animals so in this chapter we are discuss about that is different ways of taking food digestion in humans so that is introduction about that the mouth and then buccal cavity and then food pipe or esophagus the stomach and um, small intestine large intestine and uh, digestion in ruminants that is yeah, cow or goat or anything and finally feeding and digestion in amoeba so this all the content we are discussing in this chapter this is second chapter for you and um, that is types of animals on the basis of kind of food they can consume so different types of animals they are consuming food in different categories so some animals they are eating only plant items so they are depending in different types so digestive system if this is a flow chart for you um, it is um, divided into mainly two type that is digestive tract that is animal alimentary canal sorry and uh, another one is uh, associated glands that is said uh, thyroid um, sorry that is um, glands is present in the digestive system that is buccal cavity and small intestine and anus and salivary glands and the liver and the pancreas this all the glands it will involving in the digestion and in this slide what is the digestion the food passes through the continuous canal which begins at a buccal cavity and ends at the anus it is start from the mouth and end with the anus the canal can be divided into various compartments that is first one buccal cavity food pipe or esophagus stomach and then small intestine and then finally large intestine and it will end to the anus and the ingestion it is intake of food we are called as ingestion the mouth and the buccal cavity so in this digestion process this is the first step the buccal cavity that is a oral cavity the buccal cavity contains teeth tongue and salivary glands so teeth uh, we have a teeth you know that all of you the teeth break the food into small pieces okay so and we are chew and grind it chewing mixes small pieces of food with saliva so this process is called mastication so what are the types of teeth so teeth is based on the structure and the functions teeth are four types that is incisor that is a cutting teeth so these are four flat and blade like teeth that is present in in front of the part of each jaw so use the use this teeth we have to bite and cut the food into small pieces okay and second one is the canine that is the tearing teeth these are present on the entire side of the incisor so this are sharp and pointed help in the uh, tearing the food and then premolar and then molar it they are used for uh, tearing and um, grinding the food item and this is a structure of different types of teeth that is canine molar premolar and then incisor so this all the different four kinds of teeth in all the human beings and this one is a sweet and tooth decay so we have a tooth decay and we have a toothache so what happen if we if we do not clean our teeth properly and mouth after eating uh, many harmful bacteria are present and it will lie alive and grow it so it will affect our tooth root and it will form a decay so this is called we have this is uh, we are called it tooth decay so if uh, it is not treated in time it causes severe toothache and in extreme cases result we loss of our tooth so we avoided so many sweets item uh, for eating so this is one tongue in this slide we are discuss about the tongue so tongue is a healthy that is a muscular organ it attached at the back back sorry back to the floor of the buccal cavity so what is the use for the tongue it will movement of the food item and it helps in mixing saliva with the food and it helps in uh, pushing and then swallow the food into the food pipe and it helps in getting the different taste of food it has several taste buds then can be distinguished so four types of taste in there that is salt sour bitter and sweet so it enables us to speak also and this is another slide for you that is pharynx or esophagus so pharynx and esophagus the tongue pushes the chewed food into the sharp muscular tube okay this is called the pharynx 
So food, uh, food from the pharynx, the food goes into a long or narrow muscular tube. So we are calling for the food pipe or esophagus. So when the slightly digested food, it, it will enter into the food pipe. The, the walls of the esophagus start and contracting, okay, and expanding to push the push the food down into the stomach. Okay, it will pass the food into the stomach and digestion of food. It does not take place in the esophagus, just it will move the food item to the stomach. And this is the salivary gland. So salivary gland, it will um, uh, secrete it from the it secretes a saliva. So it will produce a saliva. The saliva contains an enzyme called amylase. Okay. That break down the starch present in the food that is it due to sugar. So saliva also make the food uh, wet and slimy so that it can be easily swallowed. Okay. This is the use for the salivary gland. And this is the picture for you. That is how uh, the food is passed from the mouth and then finally it will pass to the food pipe and it, uh, uh, from the food pipe it is passed through the stomach and then uh, small intestine and then large intestine and finally it go to the anus ok and this is the another slide that is about stomach so from esophagus the food goes into the stomach so stomach is J shaped and thick walled organ present on the left side of the abdomen ok it is present in the left side of the abdomen so what has happened, it is the widest part of the alimentary canal, the inner wall of the stomach contains gastric glands, okay. This glands secrete gastric or digestive juices with the contain three substances, that is hydrochloric acid, so we are mentioning HCl and then Pepsi and then mucus. So hydrochloric acid will kill the germs in the food item, the mucus protect the inner lining of stomach from the actions of enzymes and then acid. So this is the functions of the stomach. So this is the a diagram of a stomach so that is the esophagus the food is passed um, from the esophagus and is entered to the stomach that is the mucous membrane it will join with the food food items and the layer of the muscles is present in the inner wall and then phylarus and then duodenum so this all the parts is present in the stomach okay so the food is where it is come from it is come from the esophagus and then digestion in the stomach and the other part in the alimentary canal that is the small intestine. The small intestine is the longest part of the alimentary canal. It is about 7.5 meters long and arranged in the form of a coil. It is a coil like structure. It receives secretions from two glands that is the liver and then pancreas. So through the common duct, so liver and pancreas it will secrete the um, enzymes for digestion of the food. The, fall, the wall of the small intestine also secrete digestive juices that is called the intestinal juices. The process of digestion completes in the wall of the intestine. The first one is the liver. The liver uh, is a reddish brown color. It is situated apart, uh, just uh, below the stomach. So, okay. so it is the largest gland in the body. So it secrete uh, pancreas. It will secrete a pancreatic juices and it will uh, digest the food item and it will convert uh, carbohydrate and protein into the simpler forms okay and interest, intestinal juices the past, uh, partially digested food now reaches a smaller that is a lower part of the small intestine so digestion which starts in the mouth and completed in the small intestine the carbohydrate gets broken down into simple that is uh, simple common that is glucose and fat into fatty acid and glycerol glycerol and protein it will broken down into amino acids okay so this is the diagrammatic uh, representation for you that is a structure of intestine so intestine is having three parts that is duodenum uh, jejunum and then ileum so this all the parts is present in the small intestine okay it will absorb the food item and it will com uh, convert out the food items into the sim uh, simple substances that is some um, Carbohydrate, it will be converted into the simple form that is sugar or starch and then protein into amino acid and then fat into glycerol, glycerol and then fatty acids. Okay. So this is the function for the uh, small intestine. Okay my dears, go through it and the remaining, remaining uh, pages we will discuss in the next class. Thank you.